Hey guys, so this is going to be a short little video just explaining how to do the front bow tie swap. I'm actually going to show how to do it. I already did it actually, I did the front and the back, but I'm, just, I'm going to redo it, take it all apart, and explain how to do it and show how to do it because I think it's going to be useful for a lot of people. So I have another video with my brother-in-law's white 2500HD that I did that you can go to that. I'm going to have a link to that in the description. You can go to that to see how to do the back one. It's just basically a debadge, but the half tons and three quarter tons are different from the for the front one. So the three quarter tons you can just reach in here and get behind there and unclip the tabs, but for the half tons it's, you can't just do that. So I'm going to show how to do that. So you only need two tools for this: a flat hat screwdriver, preferably a worn old, worn out older one because it can be a lot smoother and not as sharp. A brand new flat hat can be sharp and you can mar stuff up easier. So flat hat screwdriver and a 10 millimeter with a socket. So first of all. You gotta undo all these push-in tabs. There's 12 of them, so they're really easy to do. You just start out. They should be easy to do. They can be a little sticky sometimes, and these top things, they've gotten flimsier over the years, so you just start out with popping that top part out first. So like you see there, it can be kind of hard to get out sometimes, so if you have a tool like this, it can help a little bit too, but it can scratch stuff also. So if you get it started with a flathead, can come here with this. Once you have that top piece, it shouldn't come out, but it does come out sometimes. Then the other piece just pops right out. So once you have all 12 of those out, just lift this cover pops right off. So. Next, you're going to want to take these four bolts out, one here, 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 and here, they're 10 millimeter. So you want to take them all off, they're not very tight. So you have those four bolts out of the top loose. This is the hardest part. You have to be really careful. You're going to want to use the flathead screwdriver for this here. There's tabs on the top, little tiny tabs here. You got to lift up and out very carefully. But the middle one here has a tab where you can't lift up very hard. So you got to put the flathead under there to help you pry it up. So. tabs pop loose you can tell that the grill will, will kind of pop out a little bit and then if you look down in here between this gap here is where you're gonna have to reach your arm you're gonna have to have a, somebody with a skinny arm we'll see when you pull it out enough for this tab to pop out you should be able to get an arm in there so like I said you're gonna need a really skinny arm and then there's four tabs on the back, one on each long end, and then two up in the middle somewhere. So once you find the tabs, they're pretty easy to pop loose. This is how it sits on there, and here's the tabs. The outside ones you push out, and then that top one you push that way, and that one that way. So it's really easy once you feel it, it'll pop right out. So I really did that backwards since I already did this. I just wanted to show how to do it again, but once you get the old one off, you just pop the new one right back on. The arrow on there goes up. It'll sound bad, but it goes right on. And then you just put everything else back the opposite way you took it off, and that's it. Like I said, I have the link for the other video I did showing you how to do the back one. I'll have that in the description, so go watch that if you want to see how to do the back one. And thanks for watching.